I feel like you're to blame for this one. So you're well short stories. This was a long story. Not my fault. I'm a short oh, person. Oh, who's talking about short stuff? I didn't yeah. bring it in. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Tonight on Power Bourbon, we are going to continue this book in bracket. I have no idea what day it is because we're drinking a lot of bookers. So what we are going to do tonight is we are going to finish out the left side of the bracket. And that means it is our first same year matchup tonight, which is 2022-02 versus 2022-01, or better known as the Lumberyard Batch, because if I remember right... Somebody worked at a lumber yard before they became a distiller. And then Ronnie's batch. So if I remember right, lumber yard was like a fan favorite until Bardstown came out. And then people were like, never mind. Right. <laughs> exactly. So. All right. Which to start with? I don't know. We're going to smell them and we're all going to be like, well, the noses are very similar. I mean, that's that's kind of characteristic bookers um, yeah. yes. a little bit weak on the nose a little bit of nuttiness you get a little bit of oak mm. some spice a little bit of spice yeah i mean that but it's generally yeah, they muted smell the exact same yeah but then it's amazing like the flavors are just like completely different you're like what just happened the noses of these are nondescript they're nondescript they're very yeah. These have nothing. <laughs> I was going to say, after trying Lumberyard, like it's no contest. And then tried Ronnie. Mm. Came in swinging. Mm -hmm. Ed, Ed Sturger predicted different. some controversy on this matchup. So if, he, if we don't right. deliver, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, I have controversy with myself. So there's a controversy. Mm. Who are you arguing with, buddy? Boy, myself. <laughs> don't know which one's better. I think the nose on the O1 is a lot better. Maybe you have a more sensitive nose, Ed. I'm just not picking up much. I'm not picking up much on either one of them. The O1 is just class bookers. Like the Bardstown was not class bookers, but it was good. The 17, again, was not normal, straight down the middle of the plate bookers, but it was good. This, the O1, I think, is if I were giving a you know someone new to bookers a taste to see, okay. What's representative of the line? This could be it. So Lumberyard to me is just a caramel apple pie with great baking spice. <laughs> it is like not mm. not that weak apple pie crud that you get like from some places, but I'm like talking the Don't legit bring in weak stuff. Thick this, crust this with caramel drizzle, the big oh. baking spice on top, like good homemade mom's apple pie. Just saying. There's a lot That's... of spice on that one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're saying on Lumberyard or on mm. Ronnie's? On the Lumberyard. Mm -hmm. I think Lumberyard is uh, quite powerful. More yeah. ethanol, it drinks hot. Chuck, I thought you poo pooed saying spice or baking spice that, you know, people had to name the spice. Yeah, it's the same thing with sweet, you know, define it. Mm hmm. Right. I'm about right. emotion, I'm not about description. Still an easy way out. Are, aren't yeah. baking spices mm -hmm. like several spices? Mm -hmm. so yeah. Cinnamon, so so nutmeg, and like, like well, well I feel like when I say baking spice, like, I mean multiple. Man, I've heard it described. I feel as like there's a couple. For your tasty notes, you know the noun like sweet or spicy, and then the adjective. Okay. What's sweet? What kind of spice? But yeah. I can't I can't say it's like just cinnamon or just nutmeg or something. Yeah. Well, if you drink uh, um, Chattanooga, it's cinnamon. <laughs> like cinnamon red hot. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, no, that's a different kind of cinnamon there, Ed. Yeah. We like the the actual real dusting of cinnamon over the top of the, the pie crust. I agree. I'm just giving <laughs> you a reference. How's that? Not big red. Gross. Worst gum on the planet. And then 
the Ronnie's batch is like mm. caramel, oak, and then red hots on the yeah, finish. ethanol. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, to me, that one drinks hotter yeah. than the other one. So the old one is there's something a bit more with the burn on it. Well, just for our audience to know, the lumberyard is 124.8. And the Ronnie's batch is one twenty four point three. I'll I'll be the contrarian. On it. I like the the lighter sweetness on the the Ronnie's batch up front, and then the cinnamon and the ethanol, the burn. You know, it's there, but it's not like old um, Stag Junior knock you off your chair burn. Oh, it, it's enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is without a doubt the closest mm. of the matchups so far. This is going to come down to personal preference, and that's that's it. what I was going to say. They're they're close, not in close in taste profile. They're close, yeah. just you know, which do you prefer on a given night? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think if we did this five days in a row, our answers would change. Right. I think I have a choice. Oh boy, I've got mine. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> shall shall we reveal? Go for it. I don't want to influence off. your decision. Do you know what you want to pick? I'm hoping by the time we get around to me, it won't you... matter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have to choose? I don't want to. I actually re- like the Ronnie's batch better. Um, I actually like that it's a little bit thinner. Does have more of the peanut note, a little bit more classic bookers and beam. So that's my pick. Yeah. Which surprised me. I thought I was going to go with the other one because I thought like the sweet and the baking spices. Uh, but the Ronnie's batch tonight, maybe like you all are saying on a different night, I might have picked the other one, but I'm going the Ronnie's 01. Well, yeah. All right, Chuck, Mr. I know too. I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going Lumberyard batch. I love the balance of it. Um, so on the nose, to me, they were, it was a wash. They were basically the same. But to me, just the it just flowed perfectly from the palate to the finish. All those flavors, TJ, you, you discussed as far as an apple pie um, with a little bit of nuttiness and, and that mouthfeel I thought was was better. Um, so I'm going Lumberyard Batch. All right, Mr. Bell. I saw an agreement with the wife. One. One. So, oh, oh, oh Ronnie's. Yeah. Ronnie's. Ronnie. All right. Okay. What? Me? He wants you me. Make... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want all the power. Uh, yeah, I got to go Lumberyard because I love that apple pie, caramel, baking spice. Oh, it's just, it, do the two. It, it, it's just amazing. So Ed gets what he wanted, which we got caught in We're going to overtime. We're in overtime. Something Told the you. Dodgers don't know anything about actually like clinching anything. So here he goes representing. <laughs> Ouch. Clint, what do you mean? We, we don't. I know because we clinch so far in advance. <laughs> We're like Bardstown when it comes to regular season. <laughs> When it comes to regular season, now listen. Right, I was going to say, but postseason, you're like the Illini. You just. <laughs> we just, it these hands get in the way. They just get in the way. So, <laughs> I was leaning hard 0 2. And then I went back again. <laughs> this Ronnie. is overtime. Ron, We're on the Ronnie edge of our Ronnie. seats. Ronnie's Ronnie takes Ronnie. it. Oh, oh wow. It, that classic Booker's just hit right tonight. And I'm with you. I get all the sweetness, but tonight it was about the classic Booker's, yep. the dusty, the peanut, mm-hmm. the oak. So I'm going with Ronnie. If you yeah. have any of your lumberyard batch left, I will buy it. <laughs> it is good. So, I, I mean, I'll say the lumberyard. I remember tasting it the first time and being like, oh, that's a winner. It's so... Mm-hmm. Good. So I hate to not pick it, but I'm just saying, just tonight's matchup, I'm choosing the not, other one. So, yeah. I uh, think what we're saying as of right now, 2022 was the best year of Booker's in ooh, recent yeah. history. There you go. That's, and, that's and, what we're saying. Absolutely. And I think that's almost to his detriment because once two came out, 
you know, one fell off the radar, no one drank it, no one talked mm-hmm. about it. When Bardstown came out, nobody number- drank it. Yeah, because that was later. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then after Bardstown, we had no strangers, and you were just like, "Well, Bardstown was so good. Who cares about that? Poo poo on yeah. no strangers. This guy did it. And every time <laughs> in a blind, no strangers is actually really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. you picked at number two. So, yeah. gosh darn yeah. it. So just yeah. all right. It's, I think Ed's still. Wait, 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 let's give we'll give him a chance to uh, to. Are you second guessing yourself here, Ed? No. Um, <laughs> Okay. All oh, right. just check. They're going back to the review on the video screen. We want to review. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> What's this put on the line? A, let's get a let's <laughs> get a review on this last two minutes. <laughs> oh man, the ball was away from the middle finger, just away, <laughs> just barely, away, and the light went on. So there you go. Maybe our first upset of the bracket. It might get crushed the next round. I think those were two very evenly matched. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It'd be a hard, hard yeah. to call it an upset. 